So when one is face to face with the sadhu, one will no longer be subject to material bondage, which is just like darkness. Another uh, meaning we can take for this is that the devotees are bright. They're illuminating. They are illuminated, we could say, in as much as because devotees are bright, they are freed from sense gratification. Therefore, the brightness of the soul shines through. And that's true, even of those who are not devotees, but who are sense-controlled. They have a brightness, a bright aura. As uh, our beloved Dina Bandhu Prabhu, one of the most beloved devotees in our movement, he likes to tell a story of seeing seeing Srila Prabhupada arrive at one airport and one worker there, a, a black man, said, that man, he's shining, he's shining. Talking about Srila Prabhupada. He's a very simple man, obviously, but he experienced how Srila Prabhupada is so shining and so bright. Uh, bright with the spiritual bliss shines through. Then when the the coverings of the soul are not there, then the spiritual brightness shines through. When there's no longer anxiety, lust, greed, and so many dirty things covering our whole consciousness, then the brightness of the soul shines through. And we see that in saintly people. 